Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm back here again with a brand new episode with Dino. 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 Uh, this shouldn't be that too long of an episode, but one that I'm pretty excited to talk about. Today we're going to talk about uh, import maps. A not sexy feature, but definitely one that should help a project as it gets bigger. What's really cool about this actually is that I wasn't really planning on making this video. And then lo and behold, out there in the universe, a person by the name of Imaginamundo opened up a pull request on Dencro's web, uh, repo and added import map support, which is amazing. Uh, so Imaginamundo, thank you for that. And uh, I intend to merge this pull request, but be but just right after we're done with this video. I think that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as we're done with this video, I'm gonna merge this pull request, but I'm gonna actually re-implement it locally to kind of give people an idea about what it looks like. So uh, here is the pull request of um, adding import map in a make file from Imagine Nundo. Very, very cool. And to actually understand what an import map does, you can actually go to the Dino manual. And actually, uh, if you look here, there's a section called import maps. And import maps is actually a browser feature. Um, again, this is Dino trying to get, trying to use browser standards as much as possible, such that there's only one way of writing a Dino file. And a import map in the browser is a way for ES modules. This proposal allows control over what URLs get fetched by JavaScript import statements and expressions. It's a way to kind of, it's kind of like the way that Webpack works, but kind of not unique to Webpack. It works just by default. And how it works is you make an import map file. So we're gonna do this here, import map.json. And what you can do is map values to the full paths. So if I do this here, this will let me write import serve from here. So what does that mean for me? It means that here I have serve selection what I want to do I'm gonna yank this all I'm gonna put this right here and what I actually want to do here is actually just import have this map to uh, HTTP like this so if I uh, that means that I should then be able to replace all of this like that and now when I run this I have to add this flag import map so uh, I honestly never remember how to run this file itself, which is sad. Uh, we're going to take this and make this to be an example. And we're going to say, use this import map. And it's working. <laughs> yep, it's working. Look at that. That's cool. So it's using this import map. So that lets me actually map. This is, of course, not working because I'm using an import map, which is fine. Uh, I wonder if that would actually create the module. I don't know what that means. But I can do the same thing with all these things here. So I can actually take this and I can grab flags. And let's add this to here. We're going to say uh, flags goes to there, uh, which means that I can then delete that. And then here I can do the same thing with format so I can change that to this oh my god get away read me uh, change this to format like that so let's restart this uh, there you go <laughs> and I refresh and things are still working as expected and a great side effect of this is that uh, upgrading becomes very centralized. So all these things can then, when I eventually upgrade to Dino 3.6, just becomes that. Really nice and easy. Um, I won't lie, this is going to drive me a little mad because it will. What's interesting is actually there's another way that people actually do centralizing of package management with Dino, which I've seen examples of. They actually make a file called uh, depth.ts they actually take all their dependencies like this, put it here, and export it all like that. 
And then what you can do is take everything like this, like that, and this, and like that, and import it from depths.ts, like that. Uh, and that also works as well. Uh, let's do it without without the import maps to make sure that I'm not getting confused by that. Yeah, so that's still working as expected because that's just rewriting it. And that's also another way people do uh, centralized dependency management with Dino by having this kind of like depth file. It's a pattern that I've seen a lot. Um, I wonder if you actually just export all. Does that work? Does that all still work? Yeah, yeah, that works too. So I don't have to worry about importing things I don't care about. Um, just becomes a lot to import. Yeah, uh, pretty cool, pretty nice. Makes things a little bit easier. Uh, it's definitely a replacement for package JSON with the npm land, but um, still, you know, a little bit different way of doing things. So that's kind of fun. It's a fun little video. Wanted to share that with you. Good to know about it there. It'll be interesting to see as Dino grows, what other ways they expand import maps and make it a little bit easier to centralize dependency management, but that's for the future to worry about. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next video next week. Until then, keep coding. Bye.